Hi everyone, here is Georgia and I'd, I'd like to thank you for your interest in our reconstructor software. In today's video, we will have a look on how to import, process, register and get your point cloud ready to work as quick as possible. So let's get started. The functions to import, process and register the point cloud data are grouped in the lineup toolbox bar. Reconstructor supports several data importation, point cloud, meshes, IMC models, point lines and list of points. You can import the data in different ways, but the one I like most is the drag and drop. Select the clouds you want to import, drag them into the reconstructor workspace and the scan processing wizard appears. You can select how many files as you like, just remind not to overstress your computer, as always happens. The wizard will follow you through the processing workflow that is composed by different steps. The first one, fix and default, is the raw data input. The other three following steps are optional and can be run upon request. The pre-processing applies a set of filters algorithm to all the scans in order to automatically clean up the clouds, deleting points or extracting the information, later used in the registration process. The automatic pre-registration moves a set of scans close to each other and it works in two main ways, by targets or without using any targets that is commonly the most used one. You can use also low-density scans. Reconstructor algorithms are a key sensor, also all this kind of data. Note that in most cases the automatic pre-registration works fine, however, in some cases you might have not enough overlap between the scans or your target may be partially hidden, making it difficult for the software to figure out how scans can go together so you need to use the manual method. If you want access to the manual pre-registration, go in cloud to cloud where you can find the manual pre-registration. I generally prefer working easy, so I always start the automatic method. The time registration optimizes and minimizes all the possible registration errors occurred in the previous pre-registration process. Let's keep flag of the options. The user has the full control of all the steps Click more settings to enter in each one and to manage the specific related parameters. In the lineup setting dialog, all the steps are listed sequentially from the left to the right. In the importing step, you can decide to subsample your scan data, import color or spherical images, and remove artifacts. Remind that subsample applied at this stage is not reversible. If you want to import your full resolution data, you can subsample it later. Also note that uh, if you are going to import RGB information, data importing can take a bit longer. In the pre-processing, the software automatically and smartly recognizes the raw format file and applies all parameters for data pre-processing. Of course, you can modify them. Pre-processing is made up of two filters family, algorithm, move noises and algorithms to calculate important spatial cloud information such as normal vectors of points. The second filter family contributes to properly run the following pre-registration step. Here, the goal is moving the scan close to each other. As we said, pre-registration works in two ways, without target or target based. The target remote registers the scan automatically by cloud to cloud using geometrical similarities between the different models. The software cleverly provides two options, construction and mining, so that also low density and noise data can be easily matched together. The target-based mode supports the automatic detection of both 3D targets, years, or 2D targets, planar circular ones. To help the software and speed up the process, and add the target diameter. The time registration optimizes and minimizes the possible registration error result in the pre-registration. The time registration is run by two algorithms. The ICP registration automatically performs a time registration of a moving point cloud against one or more reference clouds. The bundle adjustment is applied to a group of scans and creates as any connections among pairs of neighboring scans as possible. For each connection, pairwise ICP will be executed using the parameter set for the ICP registration method. 
They construct a bridge ICP with save the best matching point between the two scans. Once modified all the parameters, you can save your customized setting by save setting option and load the setting set for the next process by load setting. Click OK, save the setting parameter and go back to the scan process computer. After deciding the workflow step you want to run, click Next. A brief review window reassumes what you have set before. Let me take a while to explain two very useful tools, set registration rules per scan and per registration from sketch. The set registration rules per scan allows to set reference station, moving ones and the not used one in the registration process. The pre-registration from sketch, accessible with a select pre-registration method, is very useful to speed up the pre-registration process. If during the on-site survey you have used a sketch of scan's location, you can check and control the pre-registration from the sketch. This will help the software to have an idea of the position of each scan with respect to the other. Move on clicking Next and the software will show you the final summary of the process that you have run, listing some important selected options. To start the elaboration, click Process. The software will run the first two steps, importing raw data and the processing automatically. Once finished the pre-registration step, the software will ask you to check the pre-registration result. You can check how pairs of scans have been matched up each other and evaluate the quality of the registration. To quick and smartly see how the route alignments look like, you can use different views options. Set the one you prefer in the predefined view drop-down list that you find in the toolbar on the upper right side of your screen. The views I like most are the slice view, that's vertical, and the horizontal slice one. By these dynamic views, you can do a deep detailed analysis of the registration. To better visualize the scans, you can change the display background color, accessible in display and navigation option. After checking and all pairs have been accepted, the value of the pair registration errors will automatically appear. The deleted report will be automatically saved to the main reconstructor project folder. Now, click OK to complete the process by the final registration step that will be run on the One compute, the final registration will appear in a pop-up window. Click Yes to save the final registration report in PDF format. This report resumes all the cloud to cloud registration results and the final bundle adjustment one. Single ICP errors and average errors are these as well, and the best ones are chosen to run the final registration process. The link to find the report is also listed in this window. Another way to find the report is selecting any object listed in the project window, right mouse button, and open containing folder. Select results. Then report to find the KPDF report of the final registration. Once registered, you can also do reference your project. Don't miss the description video. In today's video, you would have everything you need to get started using Reconstructor. I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch today, and as always, I look forward to seeing you next time.